I made a song called Signorelli and I'm going to tell you all about it. Hey guys, this is episode three of my four-part mini-series about the four songs on my EP, Send Me Your Daughter, from last year. As mentioned, I wrote, produced, performed, and released the music myself under the moniker Galeridet. And in the first episode of the series, I touch a little on the kind of setup I use to create the music, so go check that out if you're interested. Now the song I'd like to talk about today is the second track on the EP, and it's called Signorelli. Signorelli gets its name from Italian Renaissance painter Luca Signorelli. Luca Signorelli was born in Cortona in Tuscany around 1445 to 1450. The exact date is uncertain. I first came in contact with his work as a small kid visiting the Orvieto Cathedral which is in Orvieto in Italy and that cathedral houses his larger than life frescoes. We go back there as a family almost every summer so I've seen those frescoes many many times. For those who might not know, a fresco is a type of painting done rapidly in watercolor on wet plaster on a wall or a ceiling. Signorelli's frescoes were painted from 1500 to 1503 and they cover all four walls of the Chapel of San Brizio inside the cathedral and they're considered to be the most complex and impressive work by Signorelli. He and his school spent three years creating the frescoes all concerning the apocalypse and the last judgment. Starting with the preaching of the Antichrist and then moving on to tumultuous episodes from the end of the world and then finding a counterpart in the resurrection of the flesh. The fourth scene is pretty terrifying and it's a depiction of the damned taken to hell and received by demons. As you can imagine, staring up at these graphic, dramatic scenes that covered entire walls left a strong impression on a young mind. I wasn't raised religious, so despite being aware of their Christian context, I approached the paintings more akin to how a child digests a thrilling and treacherous fairy tale, something like Hansel and Gretel or The Little Red Riding Hood. I was intrigued by these terrifying paintings and I wanted to learn more about the stories that they told and all the little details in every fresco. While I was writing the music for what was eventually to become Signorelli, I found myself thinking of those frescoes. There was something about the mood of the song, that strict rhythm that felt almost like panting, mixed with those surreal, floaty synths. It just made me think of that fourth fresco, the damned cast into hell. And so the first few lines of the song were directly inspired by that painting and its contorted human bodies tumbling down from the sky. If you look closely at the painting, you'll spot a woman on the back of a flying demon toward the center of the piece. Legend has it that this woman is a depiction of a real-life lover who scorned Signorelli during the painting of the fresco, and that led him to immortalize her in this rather cruel way. Sheesh, a little dramatic. The lyrics for Signorelli also go on to touch on those youthful expectations of grandeur that over time may fade and get replaced by a creeping, gnawing feeling of, is this all there is? Who is in charge? Is it you or your mother? Where are the clouds? Where's that light? To hear Signorelli in its entirety and to read the full lyrics, Check out the info in the description below. And that's something I made. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.